Item number, SCP-138. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-138 requires minimal containment procedures. For humanitarian purposes, subject is currently being kept in a chemically induced comatose state. Description. SCP-138 is a human male, suspected to be in excess of 4,000 years old. Subject is approximately 1.5 meters in height, emaciated, and wizened. SCP-138's precise origins are unknown. Subject was discovered in 2006 in an Egyptian tomb located near Tutankhamun's tomb unearthed in 1922, sealed inside a sarcophagus. When a living being was discovered in the tomb, the Foundation was alerted by one of our sleeper agents assigned to the International Archaeological Association. Subject was immediately moved to Sector 37 for investigation by the lead research science team there. Physiologically, SCP-138 should, clinically, be dead. Muscles and internal organs are in a severe state of atrophy, and although the subject's bioelectromagnetic field is stable, his nervous system is also severely debilitated. Subject also exhibits evidence of a large number of fatal wounds, some possibly accidental, some blatantly deliberate, whether inflicted by the subject himself or by others. There is no obvious scientific explanation for his continued living state. Although other SCPs have exhibited accelerated regenerative properties, allowing them to resist death, SCP-138 has no such abilities. His body does not regenerate damage, but simply continues to function despite lethal injuries. This stretches to wounding blows, although anything that would completely destroy the body proves ineffective. Subject speaks exclusively in a dialect of ancient Egyptian. Communication using a civilian translator has revealed very little about the subject's past, though it would appear that he was buried in the tomb for an unknown religious purpose. Due to his severely injured state, SCP-138 is in a constant state of agony and has on numerous occasions insistently requested humanitarian euthanasia. No successful method of termination has yet been found, despite various and varied attempts, both official and unsanctioned. Attached is a comprehensive list of the subject's injuries. Document 138-27 Injuries sustained by Subject SCP-138 Ancient Injuries Slit Throat 17 separate wounds to the torso 9 sword wounds, 6 spear wounds, and 2 wounds caused by unknown puncturing weapon, possibly a metal or wooden spike. Sanctioned Euthanasia Attempts Severe Nausea due to intravenous arsenic poison. Third degree burns to 100% of the subject's body. Note that SCP-138 survived a full 20 minutes in an industrial incinerator. Severe internal and nervous system damage from electrocution attempt. Unofficial euthanasia attempts by non-research personnel. Tracheal trauma due to extended strangulation attempt. Two gunshot wounds to the head causing severe cranial trauma. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-137, The Real Toy, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.